Newcastle United fans flocked together ahead of yesterday's clash with Everton. A peaceful rally was held for supporters wanting to sign up to throw their weight behind the club at a critical point in the season. Well, this is a rally for people who support Newcastle United's football club. Uh, this is a rally for people who love the team but are fundamentally opposed to the way the club is being run and what's happening in the football club, which we see being dismantled before our eyes, which is totally unacceptable. I've just been speaking to a guy there, 79 years of age, he's been coming to St James's Park for 70 years, and he's now so sick that this is, he says this could be his last game. The way the club is being run, it should be run for the benefit of the supporters, for the benefit of the people. Newcastle United is the lifeblood of Newcastle, it's the heartbeat of the city, and it's, we're being let down very badly, and the only thing we can do is protest test about that but at the same time get behind the team support the team support the lads in the black and white shirt because that's what really matters. Hundreds signed a petition which will now be passed on to the board and owner Mike Ashley calling for them to listen to the fans. We can make a difference we stand as one and we stand there to achieve the same goal. Newcastle United will never be defeated. And supporters said it was time for those at the top of St James's Park to listen to what they have to say to safeguard the future of the club. I don't know you've been run by these because they're spoiling the club and it's spoiling everyone else. We don't deserve to, we don't, the fans don't deserve what they're getting. He's stuck between a rock and a hard place now. He's either got to invest or else it will go down. Simple as that. I say, Ashley's not running the club properly, like, he's not giving the managers enough time or money in the transfer windows and stuff, so it's, it's just not good enough. Do you think the board will listen to the ideas? Or? Well, that remains to be seen, but uh, I think this sort of thing is going to ch change their mind, I really do. I mean, I've been humming and ahhing about joining the NUSC for four or five months now, and uh, I'm, I'm just about to do it. I'm going to do it. That was a, a superb, passionate speech, and that's what most people in Newcastle want to hear. 